Now, I want us to respectfully be on our feet. It is a glorious but a solemn occasion. And at this juncture, I want to respectfully ask Apostle Professor Pokunina to please pray for our Vice Chancellor. Most blessed, most glorious, the ancient of days, almighty, the And to whose divine will we must all bow in honor. We thank you for Pentecost University and for giving us a new vice chancellor. We thank you for the training that you have given to him already. And Father, now we humbly request you to empower him, equip him, assist him, and give him all the needed resources that he will need to steer the affairs of Pentecost University. Father, may he prove himself worthy for the confidence and trust repose on him by the university and the church. And may he, O oh God, be fair in all his thinking, honest, in all his actions. And may he, in the spirit of servanthood, serve the student body, the staff, and all who associate themselves with the university. May you grant him wisdom, ability, power, knowledge, and the courage that he will need to promote your image in the university and promote the mission of the university to the general public, oh God. We trust that you have heard us, and therefore we give you thanks and praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. I want to invite the wife, Vaida, Mrs. Vaida, Japan, good year. And please, the children, please come with mom. Shall we put our hands together? Please, you may sit. Have your seat. Where the former rectors will be here. So, ladies and gentlemen, the new rector of Pentecost University, Rev the, the new vice chancellor. <laughs> you see, now you have to think to say vice chancellor. As for the rector, we produce it. Now, the new vice chancellor of Pentecost University, <laughs> Reverend Professor Pavna Ejapon Obia. Shall we put our hands together to the glory of God? Hallelujah. And that is the wife, Vida, and accompanying them is the two daughters and little Kobe Jr. Hallelujah. Now we want to please check, check this. Thank you.
Thank you, Chancellor. Now, may I have your permission to invite the university and the family of our, our new vice chancellor to present to him their bouquet. The university will present the bouquet, then the family will follow. Background music. Background music. Background music. Chancellor, may I invite the following to congratulate our Vice Chancellor. Firstly, I invite the Executive Council of the Church of Pentecost present to give their congratulatory message to him by observing the COVID-19 protocols. So, they just come, come over the stage and then you wish him well, say a word of congratulations to him. As they are coming, <laughs> as they are coming, passes of Pentecost University to follow. As they are coming past heads of Pentecost University College Directors, Vice Chancellor here present to come and congratulate him. Then we invite the family, specifically the wife and children, to congratulate our Vice Chancellor. Shall we all humbly be on our feet to sing the university anthem? Oh 
Shall we resume our seats? Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, Reverend Professor Kwabena Ejapon Kodia, to deliver his speech. Praise the Lord. May all glory, honor, and adoration be unto our God today. He has remembered his covenant with our fathers and, his humble, and has remembered the humble state of his church. What a beauty to behold. Hallelujah unto our God. The Chancellor, Apostle Eric Kwabden Members of the Executive Council of the Church of Pentecost, Apostles, Prophets, and Ministers of the Gospel, Honorable Deputy Minister of Education and other Ministers of State, Inspector General of Police, Chairperson, and Members of the University Council, my immediate predecessor and all past rectors of the University, Vice Chancellors and Representatives of Sister Universities, Nanano members of the Diplomatic Corps, colleague convocation members, and all staff of this university, our distinguished invited guests physically present and those viewing digitally, members of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. It is a great honor to be here to deliver my first public address as a Vice Chancellor of Pentecost University. Please permit me to first express my utmost appreciation to the Almighty God for his grace and love which he has shown towards me. This love is indescribable. I can relate to David in his statement in 1 Chronicles 17, 16 that, Who am I, Lord God, and what is my family that you have brought me this far? This scripture speaks volumes in my case. Thank you, Jesus. I would like to thank the chairman of the Church of Pentecost, who is also the chancellor of this university, our general secretary, Apostle Alexander Kumilabi, our international missions director, Apostle Yadu, and the rest of the international executives, the search committee, and the university council for appointing me to this noble office. Truly, I cherish the confidence you have reposed in me. Thank you very much. To the entire university staff, past rectors and VC, and all who have contributed to the success of this university, God bless you. I can see many colleagues from the UK who have joined us here. Thanks for coming. I cherish what you have done. There are also family members, friends, and leaders who have contributed immensely to my life. Thanks for the training you gave me. It will continue to pay off. God bless you. 
to Vida, my wife, you are one of a kind. Well done for the many sacrifices. Our children, Nana, Mirabel, or Hineba Kobe Jr., we have come through together, haven't we? We bless God. Amen. Chancellor, this morning, I would like to touch on just two main issues. Firstly, to offer a brief reality check of the role and the environment I have to operate in in order to achieve success. Secondly, to review expectations, provisions available, and most importantly, give a tip of the vision for the next phase. So let's look at the first point, a brief reality check. By the grace of God, I've taken over as a vice chancellor of Pentecost University. However, this has come at a time when due to COVID-19, the global economy has been shaken and universities are having a fair share of its negative impact. Not only that, generally, universities compete among themselves for the same students and resources. Therefore, great innovation and uniqueness is required for a privately funded institution like ours to survive in such an intense competitive environment. Besides these realities, I am conscious of the fact that I am assuming a role previously held by some of our finest apostles and theologians, but I am only a shepherd boy who was tendering my father's flock out in the fields. May God grant me grace. Interestingly, the more I entertain these fears, the more I hear the sound that sweetly whispers, it is not about you. It is about me that my name will be glorified. It is time to possess the nations and army and individuals are required to influence their fields of endeavor. These are to be equipped and released. Who will go? It goes beyond planting churches to becoming the church at the workplace. The church in policy formulation, the church in customer service, the church in banking and finance, the church in engineering services, the church in healthcare, the church here, the church there, the church all over the place, the church taking, taking possession of nations. This is our possessing the nation's agenda, and this is what, by his grace, for years, I have been prepared for a multidisciplinary perspective to problem solving. I have therefore humbly accepted the call with the assurance that it is not about me. It is him to do it. I am therefore convinced that he, God, will do immeasurably, meaning beyond measure, more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. All our God will do it. I am convinced this is the time. And he will do it. So I conclude on my reality check that with God on our side, we will scale walls. Hallelujah. Let's look at our second issue for today, Chancellor. That is to review expectations, provisions available, and most importantly, give a tip of the vision for the next phase. A university is a training hub for the national, regional, and global workforce. Therefore, Every university activity must fit into, if not all, at least some of the 17 goals of sustainable development as set out by the UN General Assembly. Almost all our institutions have developed vision documents and strategic plans to achieve aspects of these goals. I have carefully studied some of these documents, and indeed, they are rich. I therefore ask myself the fundamental question, what gap is left to be filled? What could be the difference between graduates of the same discipline from University A and Pentecost University? My key concern, ladies and gentlemen, is that if we end up doing same programs or even different programs, but with the same educational models or teaching methods as University A, why should anyone consider coming to our university? We definitely need something different, something that the best in our nation and across the world will also be attracted Two. In finding a window of solution, I did what my teacher taught me. He said, to get it right, you must seek the mind of God. Critically and carefully observe things around you and the role. Consult spirit-filled people and experts. And remember to seek the opinion of your head and all those around him. 
and be prayerfully inspired. I have realized the capabilities of our nation's young graduates and compared them with the international market. I observed our work ethics and compared it with the ethics of some other places. I analyzed the skills of our workforce and compared them with the skills of some workforces elsewhere with the same qualifications. I have, by virtue of these analysis, come to the conclusion that in view of Pentecost University's new vision to become a distinguished Christian university known for its excellence in teaching, research, and community impact, and the dynamic global need for graduates of a certain caliber, we need another kind of a university, maybe a university A+, a university at another level, a university that trains people to solve problems. This is University A+, a place where governments, communities, industries, families, churches, and all run for help in the academy. Such a university will be called a research-led university. My vision, therefore, is to help develop and maintain with your support a one-of-a-kind research-led university to solve the problems of our communities, industries, the nation, and the world at large. By the end of term, Pentecost University will become the one place for solving problems. Industries are looking for such graduates. Families are looking for such. The government is looking for such. Churches are looking for such. In fact, these are the people, the 1% of every generation, who transforms nations. When you meet me anywhere, in the shops, by the roadside, when I visit you at home, at the gym, or anywhere, let's talk about just one thing. How our university is solving problems and leading in research-oriented education. This will be our uniqueness. University A+, a university that solves problems, a research-led university. This is what, dear Chancellor, I pledge my troth. In the next couple of weeks, at the various levels in the university, we will be engaging rigorously with our move to become a research-led university. I'll be visiting staff and student groups to engage and listen to how we will tailor our activities to this new direction. I can imagine we will determine the details of the vision together, but of essence, our research-led university will consist of four major pillars. One, a redefinition of who Pentecost University academics are. Two, a repositioning of Pentecost University students. Three, an effective problem-solving Pentecost University environment. And the fourth one, a dynamic Pentecost University solution-enabling system. In simple terms, the vision is focused on four things. The first one, the academics. The second one, students. The third one, a problem-solving environment. The fourth one, all our enabling systems and units. A few highlights of this will be offered today. Theme one, a redefinition of who Pentecost University academics are. We will endeavor to build a team of God-fearing interdisciplinary... In Sorry, I'll take it again. We will endeavor to build a team of God-fearing, interdisciplinary-minded academics who are at the forefront of knowledge, providing solutions to problems. These academics will then develop and teach courses derived from their research experience. Basically, when you meet a Pentecost University academic, you have met a compass of solutions. These academics will be supported with local and international staff exchange programs to enhance their reach to communities, industries, businesses, churches, and all. They will facilitate the organization of fairs, seminars, workshops, and conferences in their disciplines and ensure rigorous and competent stakeholder engagement to promote the research phase of the university and solve problems in the community. I am sure you will see by now that I am calling for a slight cultural shift for Pentecost University academics in all disciplines to become problem solvers with more intentionality and in ways that are more visible for people to seek them. The second theme 
It's a repositioning of Pentecost University students. We will seek to make Pentecost University students directly involved in the lives of employers as project assistants, research associates, apprentices, programmers, trainees, and so forth throughout their studies at Pentecost University so that they almost get employed before completing their programs of study. We will work hard together to ensure that serious Pentecost University students will not have to finish and search for jobs. They will either create their own employments or engage in further advanced scholarly work, or in the very least, employers will come after them before they complete their programs. A Pentecost University student will become a problem solver with distinguished integrity and spirituality. Basically, if you meet a Pentecost University graduate, your problems can be solved. We will also introduce schemes and scholarships to attract best performing students and offer work-based degrees and qualifications to meet the increasing need for highly skilled graduates. The third theme, the third theme, an effective problem-solving PU environment or Pentecost University environment. The new Pentecost University environment will consist of active research groups, research institutes, and centers, which will work directly with companies, churches, governments, businesses, and the community to provide best-in-class solutions to their problems. In effect, a Pentecost University environment will be a place for generating and exploring ideas. In doing so, we shall team up with both local and international partners to set up research and development centers, R&D centers, and business units on our campuses. Besides the growth to be achieved in the other units, we hope also to expand our theological base and unit into a global Pentecostal center dealing with front-end research matters. The fourth theme, dynamic Pentecost University solution enabling system. We will roll out an end-to-end -end advanced IT system to support our online programs, administrative functions, teaching and learning, and research. We shall also equip all non-academic staff with skills to support the research and teaching and as well as enterprise initiatives of the university. New career enhancement paths will be created and adequate support will be provided for non-academic staff development. Dear Chancellor, with these initial pointers, which of course will be enhanced meetings, I hope to achieve, by the grace of God, a clear statement at the end of term that if you go to Pentecost University, you will gain insight to solve all business, church, and corporate needs. It is to this end that I present to all students, staff, businesses, and corporate organizations, parents, churches, and their leaders, our fathers, the entire church, Ghana, Africa, and the world, for my tenure of office, a new kind of university that solves problems. God bless. Thank you, Vice Chancellor. Let's, let's do it better. Let's do it better. Thank you so much for the statement, the vision statement you have given us. And with God, we hope to achieve this. And Pentecost University will become a unique university in Africa and all over the world. Thank you so much. Now, Chancellor, may I have your permission to ask the choir to give us a song? Oman Beya. If you hear Nara. Shall we rise together with them and sing?
Yeah, no. 